Welcome to Real Flicks Reviews. We're like a book club. People hate reading. This week is Grab Bag, so James picked the movie Malice in Wonderland, along with Season 1, Episode 1 of The Young Pope. This week we have Jonathan Charney, James Stevens, and Ryan Preston. Here's the description of Malice in Wonderland 2009. A modern take on the classic fairy tale Alice in Wonderland set in the north northeast of England. Um, and so, I, 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 Yeah, I, I want you to jump in on this one. I want to see. Um, what, what's a, this movie, oh, no wonder it felt so short. It's an hour and 27 minutes. It's perfect. It's a great modern representation. It's kind of like you're on something the whole time. Um. God, by the way, doing drugs and seeing this movie would give you a heart oh, attack. Uh, did you, uh, do you have a rating on it that you're going to I, I'd give it, I want to watch it one more time because I definitely missed stuff on this. I'd give it a 3.5. <laughs> um, okay. It's a great take, but it just throws a lot of stuff out. And the other, the other thing that was kind of distracting for me is I was trying to figure out who everybody was. I, mean, that, I thought I always thought that was pretty obvious. Some of them are. I mean, but but also I'm looking at I'm seeing, okay, this is Tweedledee and Tweedledum. How does it compare, say, to Disney's? Okay, you know, so I was just a little bit more analyzing, like the Cheshire cat was kind of random. That dude in the car. We don't let sausage stuffers, fudge packers. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm just really trying to, comparing, one. contrasting to, like, the Disney one is the one I was yeah. thinking about the whole time I was watching it. No, but this is three and a half. It's... It's short. Um, I was not expecting this movie to be as, did, as short as it was. Did your wife watch No, this she one? didn't see it. She doesn't watch your picks anymore. <laughs> I was actually curious if she would even watch this one. I literally said it's James' pick. She's like, nope. <laughs> so, right. so um, pa- uh, Brian, you've seen this one before, right? Yes, I have. Okay, then I'm just going to jump in on um, um, <laughs> You know, th- this one's an even three for me. I, I love the adaptation. I think it's really well done for what it is but i think there it seems like most of the movie is distorted and i think that's the way they wanted to go about it which i think they nailed but i i, I enjoy it, it. I, the only thing i that always kind of irks me is the alice and one alice's relationship to her father and the mom and stuff like that i always thought that was a just a weird thing to throw in the thing i really hated about this was how fast everything was. I like Alice in Wonderland, like the cartoon, the Disney one that I compared it to yeah. has slow moments. And even the slow moments in this movie was like, boom, 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 boom. And yeah. that kind of bugged me. It seemed like the, the, a lot of fast camera stuff. I noticed that, that generally has a tendency to drive me nuts on yet. It didn't on X unknown last week for some reason. Um, no, but the, 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 how fast this was kind of bugged me. <clears throat> because I wanted to sit in, you know, I, I, like the Cheshire Cat scene. That's a fairly long scene in the Disney one. Yeah. I was expecting, okay, it's going to sit. It's going to let you kind of stir in the juices of the, of the <laughs> one of the major characters. And just, it was almost a throwaway scene. Yeah. Uh, Ryan? Okay. Well, the Cheshire Cat was sort of a relatively throwaway character. Yeah, <clears throat> definitely. But it's... It, didn't, it didn't have to be a large part. Um, I, I, I felt the, the, the characters were obviously pretty obvious. Um, I, you gave it a, a, what'd you give it, John? A three? I I gave it, I threw it a three and a half because as an adaptation goes, I thought it was pretty good because I've seen a lot of the ones over the years and this was probably one of the ones I liked the most considering there's been a bunch of live action versions of it. Yeah. I, um, because you used the word perfect before you said three and a half, and I, and I was I was about to, to, to take my own life. Oh, um, <laughs> really? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, yeah, okay. Not, not only far from perfect, but just, it's not a good movie, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just say that up front. It's, uh, it's an interesting movie. Uh, I'm, I think I know what, what James is saying as far as, like, it... it <clears throat> Distorted? The the shot comp yeah distorted there you go that was the word um, the shot composition itself I really I really liked but after a while it started to kind of grate on me as an audience member well because you know I started to get kind of kind of sick of it, it, it you know it's actually it looks remarkably more sort of beautiful than yeah, your average British that. film 
So, you know, but then at the same time, it starts to kind of get in love with itself in, in that regard and, and keeps going on and on. And it just it started to make me feel like on drugs, but not in a good way. <laughs> so what did you compare? Uh, have you seen any of the other live action versions of... Alice in uh, Wonderland. Are you talking about, about the compared to, to Tim Burton? Or? Well, because there's a bunch there. I mean, because there's there's a not through a bunch, the Looking but, Glass. Yeah, um, there's there's live action ones that were made for TV movies. There's live yeah, action there's ones that one. done. There's, well, there, so just wondering if you've the, seen them. Through the Looking Glass is an entirely separate deal. Um, more more of a more of a sequel, if I remember right. Because I the, the reason but, I, uh, just wondering if what you the thought. adaptations. I mean, the the original. I would absolutely rather watch the Disney. Version. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! You know, yeah. E- even though they obviously cut out a bunch of things from the from the uh, from the Lewis Carroll book itself, you would have to. I to be still a love movie. that movie. Yeah. See, because that's why I gave it such a high rating. Is because I actually liked this was fairly impressive. This was a modern take in it. Because usually, you know, you're going yeah, to Wonderland. But, okay, I hold was... on a second though. the the modern The modern take <clears> of things is kind of a cop out. Now, the the main problem with this movie was the script. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. The the actual screenplay was 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 dog shit. Um, really clunky dialogue, like let just things that just did not really move the story properly. But the the look of it, the feel of it, like I said in the beginning, was was really something else. But um, I should. If you, I, I completely forget where I was going. With this. Let me. Uh, I guess it's down the sh- rabbit hole. Jeez. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I guess so. The change oh, that's what I was going to say is that, hold on, hold on, that, that, that adaptations like this are kind of a cop-out because <clears throat> the actual storyboard itself is completely laid out for you. Now all you have to do is draw scary faces on the creatures that you saw in Disney, and there you go. I would say for a modern-day adaptation, I thought it, it did yeah, pretty good. Yeah, but that's still kind of the same thing. The nuts and bolts of the story are still there. It didn't require... Anything but kind of just putting this personality on it, this kind of like like punk rock feel to it. And yeah. then why is it so More hard like to punk do rock it? Rock slash steampunk. That it's so hard to do right because most movies, especially if you're going to do something like this, is pretty much laid out for you. But they're all nah. They're, you're gonna if you're gonna do the gritty, the quote gritty version of whatever, <clears> it's gonna it's gonna work just fine if you're not a complete idiot. Like I said, the script sucked and it was still kind of a cool movie. See, I didn't even think this. I, I knew it was trying to go for gritty. It just seemed. It really seemed like it was a trying to be a stoner druggy movie by the way it's shot, and it just I don't well think... and obviously by the they, that that was that was all of our interpretations when we were sixteen and smoked pot for the first time was oh Alice in Wonderland's all about drugs oh yeah. look at the caterpillar smoking a hookah it's not a big leap to to put drugs in. <laughs> No, I mean, you know, the, the tea was your head, head, LSD. You know? I would say not. I, I think the way it was shot, it was meant to feel that way, not the fact that obviously. Well, that's, that's that's what I meant. That's what I meant by the composition was really interesting. The way they were trying to shoot it was really cool, but they added so much stuff to disorient you throughout it that it just got. I got sick of it. And I didn't care for Alice at all. I mean, there was no. The, the, the biggest thing for me is I didn't really care about any of the characters. I was watching to see how exactly they interacted. You know, how did they compare to the uh, to the Disney one, which is the one I was comparing it to? Um, well, I'm more disturbed by her parent, her parents parenting. I mean, who, what parent would ever let their kid just randomly take drugs from strangers and just ah oh, give it a go? What the hell? I mean, she was popping drugs like she was, you know, a complete addict beforehand. Now, I was really hoping this was going to be closer to American McGee's Alice, mm, which no. is, I the if you haven't Are they played still it, making or, that one, as far as I know, no. Oh, okay. If you ever seen it, look up the video game, not the sequel, the original one. Um, it's really well done. It's a very twisted tale, if even in. Are you Alice. talking about the uh, the Alice uh, Madness one? Yeah, yeah American yeah. McGee's Alice. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, what I was hoping okay, this was. That, that is a great adaptation. And that was a fucking video game. And a cheap-ass video game. Well, expensive at the time. But but nowhere near the kind of capabilities that we have for, like, oh, yeah. Fallout or Grand Theft Auto or something. Okay? Yeah. And it that had... game was amazing. The spin they put on that with her in the mental asylum. Seriously, go look that up if you haven't seen it. Before. That's that's originally what I was hoping it was going to be. I was excited when James said it. And I read it. It's like, okay, it still has the, the opportunity to be it. And... So, you know, it, it took me, you know, at least 20 minutes to get away from the fact that it wasn't what I wanted to watch. 
Uh, oh, by the way, the soundtrack. Is... What's that? The what, sound... what, what about the soundtrack? The soundtrack to American McGee's Alice is amazing. If you have it, it's got to be on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, Look yeah, it up. Yeah. It's a creepy fucking soundtrack. No doubt. Um, so Ryan, you well, never gave us an actual story. rating. Oh, I mean, I can't. I can't, really can't go higher than a two. It had a couple <laughs> of good moments, and the the lead actor, guy playing Whitey, was awesome. Yeah, but he, he was the only part that was. Danny Dyer that was is actually a really good actor, folks. I'll give you that. There was nobody in here I was really impressed with. The Cheshire Cat character, who was always kind of one of my favorites, because he, yeah. he he is a throwaway character, but he's always been to me. I always said he was an important character. Um, cause well, I mean, when she puts on the radio thing and she kind of gets in conversation with him type thing, and that's an interesting, but what yeah. What the fuck is up the queen? Oh, uh, that whole part. I, I literally just was watching it going this, this, what it, it was that whole scene made no damn sense. Yeah. Oh, you know, the one thing that I gotta say is that they have a great line in this film. I actually posted it as my status after watching this one just because I forgot about it. But insanity is not a plea, it's a way of life. I just love that line. Um, <laughs> and it's but, the best one in the movie. But I want to throw this out with this film is it. I mean, like Ryan said, the the dialogue sucks, except for a few of the things between uh, Danny and Maggie, or, or Alice, I mean, Whitey and Alice. Um, that, that was okay, but I mean, all in all, it's like, <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned, other than Whitey, I really didn't care about any other. So, character. what's your final rating? Yeah, you know, I stick with a three because I think, as far as, uh, um, just the, there is some watchability in this one with people who haven't seen it before, just to kind of really throw them for a trip with it. More so than other movies, I would give it two. But yeah, so I mean, there are parts of it that's enjoyable, but for the most part, it's. I just like to say this one thing about it. It's a distorted film. The interactions, the dialogue, and I mean, as far as I'm concerned, the characters are pretty easy to, to spot as to who they're supposed to be in, in the corresponding book. But, and yeah, yeah. But to me, really, that kind of seems like the, that kind of seems like the fun of the movie to me yeah, is, is, exactly. is sort of like, Oh, okay. I get to pick out what characters are what. Yeah. And, and, and that's about it. It's not a good movie. If you're a real big fan of, of Oh yeah. Lewis Carroll's work. I mean, it's it's a uh, it's an interesting adaptation. It's right up there with uh, Three Way. I don't know if you guys remember that movie oh, with uh, yeah. uh, what was her name? What was it? Ren- Not Renee Zellweger. No. Um, Damn it! I can't um, remember. Either. So, what rating did you give it? I'll and then Keeper Sutherland. It was it was a, a modern day retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. Hmm. Kind yeah. of the same thing. Reese they really tried to go the Thank same God. direction. Reese Witherspoon. There you go. So what? Uh, buggy me. What's your final <laughs> rating, Ryan? <laughs> I, I can't. I really can't I go higher it, than yeah. a two, and that's that's a real specific crowd. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna have to change mine. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Ryan. Wow, you got a whole point and a half off of him, Ryan. Um, because I was originally, you know, I I I did kind of like the movie, but. It's just it's not good enough to to get any higher, and the fact it's not American Mickey's Alice is also eh. it's it's not like it. I should say it, it's not. This wasn't gritty. This is basically well. Look, that's it's very simple. That's a good adaptation. This yeah. was not so good of an adaptation. Yeah. Oh, a- and yeah. I didn't look at it as a good adaptation at all. Of this film, it's just I just think it's like the what we said as far as the picking out the characters so and who's now we're going to go to season so. one, episode one of the Young Pope. So James, batter up. So um, I haven't seen Jude Law do anything in a few years, but he's the starring for this uh, HBO show. I'm gonna make sure. Yes, it is on HBO. Um, this one, it's basically, it's the first American pope to take the take over, like from the the, the continent from the United States. No, not that not that we have a pope here, but yeah, a pope out in the Vatican from the States. okay, so a non Italian pope. Yeah, not a non Italian pope. So it's kind of like that big thing deal type thing, but well, so I guess like, I guess they did have the German though, right? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. They did the bring new, up the German and the new guys from South America. Yeah, uh, they do bring oh, up the there German you go. this way. Um, but I think it's an interesting thing because his belief in in most of this is, I don't care about the people, I care about 
your relationship with God and how you seek that out. So there's an interesting thing. He's a hard ass hmm. and a uh, very strict follow, follow my rules or you're gone type guy. So it's a very interesting does thing. And I think Jude Law does a fantastic job in this one. Hmm. And I really am not that big of a fan of Jude Law, but I'm glad to see he's I'm, in I'm something. He's definitely seemed to drop yeah. out of the limelight. Yeah. This one is an action pack. There's no like gore or I haven't encountered any, you know, explicit of sex scenes. So that's a, Big difference from what HBO usually puts out, which they put out quite Game a bit of, of violent TV shows mixed with very promiscuous characters, and this one's not quite like that. So it'll be interesting. I, to see. I'm digging it. It'll be interesting what happens later on, yeah. <clears throat> because it's it's going to get. I guarantee it's going to get more into the negative side of, of something like that. So I guarantee it's going to go f- down the rabbit hole. Yeah. The interesting thing is that he's also the youngest pope at like 40 something and Whoa. and like a, a quite a like a century I think they said. But yeah, a very young guy and Are are we are we going to get to see him go vigilante pope and like start beating the shit out of pedophiles or something I or I think they might actually get the, there. What's he's the upshot a, here? I, he's got an interesting violent tendency towards him, but I will see where it goes. He might like have a whipping room or some shit. I don't know. But it's worth a watch. So, so. but not like Harvey Weinstein whipping room. Oh, no, no. That's a whole casting cow situation. So, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a Facebook page. Go to facebook.com slash Reviews. If you have a movie you'd love us to do or even a piece of movie news you'd love our spin on, please let us know. You can also catch us on iTunes, Podbean, Stitcher, and more. He's practiced that. A lot. Um, give me one second as I wasn't ready. Um, any movie news you guys find that was... Because there hasn't been, um, we t- didn't we discuss on the show that they were going to be putting out a new Invader Zim? Yeah, that is a falsity. Really? Yeah, yeah. Johan Vasquez has actually come out and said, you know, I get this stuff every year. Sorry to let the fans down, but it's not the Zim movie is not in the works, and the TV show is not going to happen. So I'm bummed. Get my hopes up, you stupid internet. Why don't you kill yourself off? Oh, um, the new, was it Black Panther full, yeah. full-length tra- trailer finally dropped actually made me less interested in it than the teaser trailer did? I was never a Black Panther fan, though. I I'm mean, a, it was an interesting... I'm I mean, a quasi-character. I'm a quasi-fan. But the trailer just... I don't made... know enough about them to be a fan or not. I am looking forward to the movie, though. I like this character in... Uh, uh, the Avengers? It, uh, whatever. Civil War? Yeah, yeah, Civil War. Yeah. yeah, I think he came out in Civil War, right? Yeah, yeah. I want to see it, but um, I'm not excited about it. But of course, at this point, for me to be excited by a Marvel movie takes a lot if it's not Guardians of the Galaxies. Because I'll be honest, those are the only ones I've seen lately. I haven't seen had a chance to see the new Spider Man that even excites me. Oh, the Homecoming? Yeah, I haven't had a chance. It's actually pretty good. I watched it the other day. X Files season eleven launches its first teaser trailer. You guys excited about, you know, X-Files continuing? Are you man? You no, know, I actually watched the first uh, little bit of it, and no. I mean, I, I like the X-Files. So is it past? Is it, is, is it, it is the X-Files, it's, it's, it's period in time has come, come and I gone? I think it has. Now, would you we had be... a lot of TV shows like that. We had The Outer Limits, we had X-Files, we had... Uh, but The Outer Limits had the 60s, it was in originally the 60s. Yeah, it was, And then rebooted but... in the 90s, and I thought it did really good. I don't think, I think the biggest problem is I think culture has changed so much that it's going to have, I think we're going to have to wait a little while longer before it comes back, because hmm. I don't think you could surprise anybody with it. Any, no, like you could before. So this one. What do you think, Ryan? Um, I, I think it's really cool that they were able to actually bring that show back. Um, I never really watched it originally in the first place. I think my folks did. Mm. Um, I was a little bit too young to get interested in it. But um, the, the organic nature in which it came back, it, I literally all started from the Nerdist uh, podcast. Hmm. I think originally uh, Chris Hardwick had... Uh, Jillian Andrews, Jillian Anderson, Anderson, yeah, well, Gillian Anderson. Anderson, Gillian Anderson. Thank you. Um, had her on and then, um, you know, just kind of like, Hey, we're a bunch of nerds. We'd love to see X files. She's like, I'd do it. He's like, seriously. She's like, yeah, of course I'd, I'd do that show again. So he's like, we got to talk to David Duchovny and get this thing cracking. And they did. They actually just went and rallied for the show to be brought back. Yeah. They actually, yeah, it was actually interesting to see how many fans like jumped on board with it. 
I mean, there was quite a few. It had quite a big following when it was out. I just, I don't know. I mean, oh, I didn't. Yeah. I wasn't a big, big fan of it when it originally was on. I loved the first movie. Second movie was eh to me. I just, I don't know. I, a, I don't have a whole lot of time for TV at, at this point. Like, I, I watch stuff for the show, and when I have a free chance, I watch something. But X Files just is not in my wheelhouse. Not something I'm going to invest in. For me, yeah. Um, any of you guys care about the new Bill and Ted movie? Uh, Keanu Reeves apparently is talking about updates on Bill and Ted Three. I wouldn't be opposed to it. I mean, as long as it's not like because apparently what's the bogus adventure. Apparently, what's supposed to be happening? It's you know it's supposed to take whoa, place in modern whoa, time. So whoa, they're they're whoa, thirty something, whoa. and so what's going to happen whoa. is it's it's supposed Hold to on. talk about why they're not changing the world and you know basically you know stuff like that. Hey, 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 okay. hang, hang on a second. We gotta we gotta back. So did James disparage the fucking good name of no, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey? No, we disparaged. <laughs> we did. I hate that one. How, Except how, for the how ending. How fucking dare the pair of you? The ending, my ass. That whole movie was awesome. Uh, I think you need to go look up the definition of that word. I stopped at tentacle porn. <laughs> no, you didn't. You what? that movie. <laughs> um, I, I, I did. There were parts of the movie I liked, but in general, I preferred the first one. Yeah, I, I liked the first one more. Um, the second one. I, I don't I understood what they were doing, you know. I just I didn't like the afterlife scenes. None of it really did a whole lot for me. I didn't like the scenes from hell. When they're playing chess. That part was funny. I liked in yeah. heaven when they mugged people to get into it. <laughs> but overall I, I just wasn't really my the one I liked. So um I just went through a bunch of news as I mean it's just been flooded with Harvey Weinstein being a rapist. Um, so it's kind of hard to find something that's actually legit. Um, the Han Solo movie is officially Solo. in the go. Yeah, I, I guess I'll check it out. But I, but all I see right now is Disney getting this new company that they can just rape. That's well, here's here's a question: a though. young Yoda film. Is it really? Is it really raping it, or is it the fact that he, he'll he they're doing what everybody wanted to because George Lucas was so bent on spending years changing the original, then they made the third ones. I, you know, so I'm thinking it's not necessarily raping; they're just making what people want, and because they're going to be releasing one every year for the next decade, that yeah. people are getting tired, you know, are, are getting a little wary of it. See, I think it's they're doing what people finally want. I think they are doing that too, but it's my just too issue, fast. Yeah, that's my issue. Is I mean, take your time. Take that. You know, I'm. I don't fault Disney. I would do the same thing, and I don't even think this is you know a money grab. I think this is them realizing that there's a need, a need, and and, and a the fans want it, so why not make it? Yeah, I still think they need to do an old Republic where the Sith was actually a prominent thing, and they had the it's, academies, they had the planet, they had everything. I guarantee that's going to happen. Uh, I think they definitely will do that eventually. Versus the eugenics wars in Star Trek. Well, I mean, I, I hope it goes on before North Korea has a hissy fit, because I, I, I just It'll see happen. that Hollywood drop it and, and do that. Don't so, do a Han Solo film. I, I did want to talk a little bit about what's happening now. with Harvey Weinstein. Now. Since everybody else is doing it, I figured, why not? Nine. He's there's a good did, chance. Did you did you do that on purpose? Yes, I did it on purpose. The dude doesn't deserve okay. me saying his name right. Um. So he's. So there's a couple of things I've heard. They actually might try try to liquidate the company. Hmm. Um. Liquidate he touched Miramax me. or the Pay Weinstein company. The Weinstein company. Oh wait, the, no, he doesn't. He doesn't have Miramax anymore. No. no. So they were saying that there's a good chance they, they might just liquidate the entire Weinstein company. I'm I would. I see. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm for and against it. Cause there's gotta be a ama amazing talent. But if wine, you know, at this point I say, change Weinstein. the name. No, they're going to, they're going to liquidate it. They're going to basically kind of sell it off piece by piece. If they're the, 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 the individual entities are going to get absorbed by big studios. Most likely. You see, here's the thing: is like I like the movies, but I hate the guy. So I'm I'm kind of like yay and nay at well, the, the same time. Well, the movies are fine. Him him being a complete deplorable piece of shit 
is not going to stop me from watching Goodwill Hunting. Oh no, yeah, yeah that's that's why. Like, I like the studio. That's why I keep the studio around. Just remove that guy from everything. He basically was at the Academy, the Academy Arts, or the Motion something, the, the Movies and Science thing. Actually, removed him. He's basically being blacklisted by Hollywood. Now, the interest. I think that was the Academy of Film and Television that did, that, that, that's, did yeah. basically blackballed him. And so the Academy. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with, because there's been rumors for years about, you know, people doing this to children, and there's been a number of actors who have actually come out, yeah. which I, I, and said he's done it, and uh, there was a, a, I don't remember his name, he's an African-American gentleman, everybody knows him, he said he Spike was- Spike Jones? Was that it? I don't know. I don't remember his name. He just said he was he was touched by uh, directors and producers inappropriately. I'm really curious to see what happens to Hollywood because this has happened. Um, there's stories of Judy Garland inappropriate stuff happening to her. So it's something that's happened traditionally through Hollywood. Well, so I want to see what yeah, the changes. Yeah, kind of what I'm thinking is like this is not a new issue. It's just one that you know was um, but is it the pushed right out of the limelight just because of the money they had. Um, is this the right time for actual change in Hollywood? Like, not fake change. Like, you know, fake change in Hollywood is, oh, women are starting to complain. Let's make a, a woman a hero in a movie. I, I think that... Um, what, what's... I'm sorry. What 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 change are, are you expecting? Just change in general. Because I, I've, I've... Over the last week and a half, I've heard a lot of stories of... of I'm sorry. I, I like... I, the rape is bad? Well, I don't know. Just pretty changes. Sure we're already there. <laughs> well, like I'm curious to see if the change, if it'll change Hollywood or not. No. Like, will it change the way they do will things? Like, change, I'm curious. Like, change enough change that what? See, that's will change enough that it actually changes the way they they do things. Like, like say, I mean, the, the, you you speak of they like they're the, like all <clears throat> meeting in a in a room together. Well, Hollywood in general, it, like know, Hollywood, is bastards. not a conglomerate of, of screw you, it, Zog. It's, it's, a, it's a thousand different companies. Well, yes, but I'm saying they is in Hollywood in general. The movie, the movie I picture. Don't, I don't you know, see. Are you asking I, I for think, a policy? Okay. No, I'm just wondering if it'll change it. I'm curious to see if it'll change it. Will it be the same? And are, I, I'm just wondering if you're blaming Harvey Weinstein's raping on the industry. No, Bill no, no, Cosby. no. What? <laughs> Just don't drink the the juice. Um, no, what I'm saying is, say no to Jello. Is it gonna? Did this kind? Well, did this basically? It's the tipping point. This has happened so much that basically this well, is the first yeah, string I of mean, things. You know, so I'm curious if sexual because sexual harassment in in Hollywood is not <clears throat> is definitely not new, and it's not the first time this has been talked about. Oh no, I'm just know, curious uh, if this is going to be the I first mean, time. Obviously, this is the same industry with 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 Bill Cosby in it. So, yeah, I mean, I think people who are rapists amongst the industry, you know, are realizing like, OK, well, obviously I can't use my my position of, of power to hold it over women. Like, 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 I'm, I guess the only point I'm trying to make is it's not like a company that's doing this. It's individuals who are alone in a room with a woman saying, hey, if you want fame and fortune, this is this is the price. Well, yeah, that's what you I'm, know, I'm, like you can't get away with that shit anymore. Well, six, I'm wondering if, if, you know, Hollywood, like, you know, emphasizing to stop that, will it change it somehow? I mean, I don't think it will, but I'm curious if it like five years from now, will there be a notice noticeable change in the films themselves? Cause you don't, you know, you won't necessarily see the change right away up front when you're watching a the theater, but will you see it like five years from now and what you see? I'm just curious. Maybe not. It might not. It might. It may be. I don't know. I guess. I guess it what? might just have to be a wait and see. And and because I'm kind of in the boat of Ryan right now. Like, like, what are you expecting to happen? That's what I'm curious yeah, it's about. Not gonna, no, it's not I'm not expecting. In, I'm know, not it's... expecting anything. I'm just wondering if something will change. It's it's okay. will it? Um, because right. this see, could I be this... I, I expect I expect nothing to change. Well, because I in... expect rapists to go to jail like I always have, and I expect Hollywood to make movies like they always have. Well, because this could be, and we're we're running late. This could be like the NFL, like the NFL rate, ratings, for example, have tanked so much that the NFL is actually starting to get worried from everything I've read about ratings tanking. Could this be the tipping point well, that that's, people that's start? For, that's for people people who who get like career offended. 
you know, like those are the people who want to boycott the NFL because of some shit that happened before the game. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Is is this going to be the tipping point for Hollywood to let us start affecting Hollywood? I don't think it will. Are you I'm saying curious. that yeah, ticket no. sales are going to go down? Is it that could, in theory. No, it couldn't. It could. There could be there could be people enough that that I I doubt it. Oh but yeah, if, people are just going to boycott movies because one asshole. You know, got caught for some terrible things. But in, it, it's an it's an industry thing that's been happening for the last a hundred plus years. That's what I'm saying. Is this a tipping well, point? It's, in it's, it a, that it's will... a thing. It's not an industry thing. Here's here's my point. It's not an well, industry thing. Hold it on, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have thing. to talk about this after the show. If you're really curious about our opinions more, <laughs> please let us know. Um, go to facebook.com slash real flicks right reviews now. if you want to continue this conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, next week is Ryan's pick. Dilu, dilu. Oh, Jesus. Remind me of that right now, huh? Yep. Um, We've been doing this show for five years. We'll post it on the website. Okay, so... I don't remember the order the shit goes. (laughs) So, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, Wait and See. Do you have a TV series? I do. Um, We're going to be doing Lore, which is another HBO TV show that came out. So, what season and episode? Uh, Season... Season one, episode one. Yeah. So next week is a we'll see. We're doing season one episode of Lore. Ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you for listening. Goodbye. Goodbye.